today I'm going to be taking some random bookish quizzes that I'm searching for on the internet. There are some that I found on the website, but it wasn't really working, so I had to find something else. So I'm just going to be like Googling, hopefully BuzzFeed will come up for most of these. I'm just going to be taking random bookish quizzes and then showing you guys my results. So I want to do something fun, a little different, and something easy today. <laughs> so let's just get right into it. Okay, the first one I'm going to be taking is which Twilight character are you? This is on BuzzFeed. Well, let's, let's do this. Okay, what's your stance on love? Love, love, like, I don't know. Plenty of room for more, kind of a loner, I would kill for love, Psh, I think I've been in love, secretly, I love it, I have a lot of crushes, <laughs> I get super attached, oh, okay, I get super attached, that's literally me. What about blood? What? No, blood is gross. We're gonna put that. <laughs> People call you sporty, charming, a homebody, helpful, mysterious, passionate, reserved, annoying, energetic. I mean, I'd like to say that I'm passionate about things, but a lot of people say I'm energetic, so we're just going to put that, I guess. What's your favorite kind of meat? Chicken, boar, beef, turkey, pork, deer, humans? I don't eat meat, IDK. Mm. I think I really like chicken. I know people are like, chicken's so dirty. Well, I like chicken, okay? <laughs> If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Extreme compassion, reading minds, magic shield, turning into an animal, manipulating emotions, seeing the future, I want it all. Wait, I need more time to choose. No, I'm cool. I, if I, I mean, if I could have all of these, psh, then I want all of them. Which one is the coolest instrument? Um, piano. I don't have to look at the rest. I mean, I love singing, but I think the piano. Oh, cello is super cool, too. We're just going to go with piano. Because I think it's pretty. And I play piano. What's your favorite body part? Uh, I was going to say something else, but <clears throat> that's not on here, so I'm going to put smile. Because I really like a nice smile. Where would you spend your dream honeymoon? New Zealand, but that's probably not an option. It's not an option. Um, Dream honeymoon. I mean... Hawaii would honestly be cool because Hawaii is cool, but I'd like to get somewhere like that's not in the United States, I guess. We'll just say Italy, sure. Okay, what's next? Finally, what is your opinion on vampires? I want to be one. They're not all demonic. Monsters, gross, burdens, powerful, more friends, yay. Like hot ones? Wait, what? I don't know. I have a very weird stance on vampires. I'm just going to put that they're not all demonic. <laughs> Victoria, look, it's Bryce Ellis Howard, okay, Victoria, yeah, no one better cross you, mess with you, and it's a death sentence, you're not one to play games and are willing to do whatever it takes to reach your goals, no matter how bloody it can get, but life doesn't always have to be filled with hate, just blood, lots of blood, okay, that does not sound like me, but pff, whatever, we're gonna see if there's any more quizzes that are, like, book related. The next one I'm gonna do is only someone who's read Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire at least three times can ace this quiz. I've only read it, like, twice, so... I don't know. What sweet did Fred and George invent? Ooh, I actually just took this on a quiz on, um, that house party game. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Okay, wait, it's not the chocolate frog. I think the beans were already invented, right? And then... I think it's the toffee. Yes! Okay, cool. What port key did Harry take to get to the Quidditch World Cup? A glove, a boo, a bottle, a book. Oh, man. You guys, it's been a long time. Um, I'm going to say a glove. A boo. That was actually what I was going to go with, but I didn't. Because I was second guessing it. It's fine. If I'm going to do terrible. I'm embarrassed. What was spew? No. It's squad for persistent elves, sorcerers for positive elfish workers. Society for the Protection of Life, Society for the Promotion of the I think it was this one. Yes, okay, cool. What was the Crouch's house elf called? Winky. Okay, it's either... It's not Dobby. I want to say it's Creature, right? I think. No! I was going to say Winky. <laughs> Who was Creature? I, wasn't there... There was someone named Creature, I feel like, but I guess the wrong movie. What creature did Harry Potter not encounter in the twi Triwizard Maze? Bless and it's grew unicorns being spoken. Guys, it's been so long. I'm trying to think of the movie. I... 
Unicorn. Uh, oh, I'm retaking this. I, I knew that. I, I was going to guess Unicorn. I don't remember. What was Ron's owl? owl what, what was Ron's owl called? Pigwit again. Yes, I knew that at least. Who gave Harry Gillyweed? Oh, duh. I am doing horrible. You guys can judge me all you want. I don't remember any of this, apparently. I don't remember. Who was Ludo Bagman? Head of the Department of Sports. I don't remember any of this. This is really embarrassing. Um, Head of the Department of International Magical Cobalt for Breaking. Minister of Magic. I don't think he was Minister of Magic. Y'all are going to be judging me so hard. I'm sorry, but it's been a long time. This guy. Okay, I got that one. Cool. Finally, what is the missing word? <laughs> oh, this is easy because, so in the in the movie, everyone's always like, okay, so the, the question is, what is the missing word? And the sentence is, did you put your name into the Goblet of Fire, Harry? He asked blank. And in the movie, we all know he's like furious, but I'm pretty sure in the book, he said it calmly because that was how the real Dumbledore acted. He wasn't crazy. I got it right, but I did really bad. I, I got four wrong. A five out of nine. Most of them I second guess myself on, so I feel like if I would have gone my first guess, I would have gotten like almost all of them right, but I second guess myself on like all of those, except like one. Okay, that one was cool. Okay, next one I'm going to be taking is which throne of glass character are you? I like these ones because I won't embarrass myself. How would you describe yourself? Loyal, confident, cunning, intelligent, brave, genuine, sassy. I feel like I'm pretty loyal. And I'm very genuine. I'm going to put genuine most of the time, I guess. How friendly are you? A little reserved, but I'm nice. I'm friendly. Only if we agree on the same terms. Friendly. I'm pretty friendly. Oh, this is about, of course. <laughs> People are often intimidated by you because I feel like nobody's intimidated by me, but I don't know. Your looks, definitely not. Your reputation, your status, your bold personality, your quiet personality, your standoffish personality, your confidence. I feel like nobody's intimidated by me, but we're just going to put a quiet personality. <laughs> but I'm also pretty excitable. I have no idea. What is your number... can't read. What is your number one priority? Mm, I really value my family. But like... Okay, I got Dorian Havilliard. Just like Dorian Havilliard, you both will stand up for what you believe in no matter what the... No, no matter the consequences, you are often mistaken for something you are not. You are kind, caring, empathetic, loyal, and an inspiration to all your friends. They put that wrong, but... Okay, not mad about it, but Dorian's not my favorite, but it's better than some people I could have probably gotten. Okay, next one. How much random Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King movie knowledge do you have? This one sounds fun. What is the name of the character Smeagol Strangles at the start of the film? Oh my gosh, Deagle! Okay, I can, I'm gonna... Hopefully do really well on this one. I love the Lord of the Rings so much. Where do Gandalf, Aragorn, Legolas, Gimli, and King Theoden re reunite with Merry and Pippin? I know. Isengard. Yes. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> do you guys know that video? It's great. How does Gollum finally manage to return... Oh. How does Gollum finally manage to turn Frodo against Sam? I can read. He t oh, this one. He tricked Frodo into thinking Sam ate all the food. My mouse is not working. Here. That was the worst. I hate that scene in the movie. It makes me so sad. It's so heartbreaking. The steward of Gondor, Denethor, is the father of which member of the Fellowship? Duh! Boromir. We all know that. Gandalf, that'd be funny. <laughs> who tells Aragorn to put aside the ranger, become who you were born to be? Oh, put aside the ranger, become who you were born to be. Elrond! Great scene, iconic. This is great. What is the name of Aragorn's reforged sword? Wait, why am I confused? Oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure it's... Okay, Whew. I knew it wasn't Sting, I knew it wasn't Orcris, but Glamdring, I can't remember who's, whose weapon is Glamdring's. I think that is Gandalf's? I don't remember. 
Which hobbit assists Eowyn in killing the king of the witch king of Angmar during the Battle of Minas Tirith? Oh, okay, oh, I love this so much. It's Mary. I am no man. <laughs> it's such a great scene. Okay, who incapac I can't read. Who incapacitates Denethor before the Battle of Minas Tirith? Wait. Isn't it Gandalf? Yeah, okay. I'm like second guessing myself. I've seen these movies a lot. What does Aragorn say before charging the, on the armies of Mortar? Ugh. The worst thing he could say for Frodo. Frodo is nothing. It was all Sam. Which creatures arrived to rescue Frodo and Sam courtesy of Gandalf? Trolls. Just kidding. Eagles. The eagles are coming. That's like a common thing. So good. Upon waking at Rivendell, who is Frodo very noticeably not name as they enter the room? This is so funny. Okay, so he doesn't name Legolas. And it's like basically he forgets who Legolas is. Like he's mocking their names as they come in. And Legolas comes in and he just kind of goes... Like, he doesn't know who he is. If I can insert a clip there, maybe I will, but I don't own the rights to this film. <laughs> and finally, who speaks the last words of the trilogy? Sam. Sam. The ending. Ugh, I cry every time. You bow to no one. I got 12 out of 12. Congrats, you've done it. You are the true king of a very random, very specific, the Lord of the Rings knowledge. Now come the days of the blessed... No, I can't read. Now come the days of the king. May they be blessed. Perfect. I love the Lord of the Rings. And I feel like a lot of those weren't that random. Like, I feel like those are things we all know, but who knows. This one looks cool. It's time to find out which little women character in Hogwarts house you are most like. Okay, this will be my last one, because this one's cool. Pick a vacation destination. Uh, are these? I'm just gonna go with London. Which zodiac sign are you? I am a Pisces water sign. What is your go-to Starbucks order? So I don't like coffee. I don't really like going to Starbucks. I usually get hot chocolate. So that's not an option on here. We're gonna do a frappuccino then because frappuccinos are actually really good. How would you describe yourself? Mature, honest, and compromising. Non-conformist, driven, and hot-headed. Imaginative, original, and moony? Moony. Graceful, resourceful, and arrogant. I don't know. I feel like I'm not that imaginative. I don't like conforming with things. I'm pretty driven. Hot-headed, I don't know about. I feel like I'm a mix. I'm pretty mature. I'm pretty honest. We're just gonna put that. What is your favorite season? Okay, so it used to be fall. I really do love fall, but I really like summer a lot more. Um, we're just gonna go with summer. It's my favorite now. What is your dream career field? Fine arts. I'm a writer, but I really like fine arts. Well, actually, is that including, like, acting? We're gonna put writing, because writing would be nice. What is your favorite part about the holidays? Family and friends. Ooh, food. I really, just being with my family is, like, one of my favorite parts. What is your favorite kind of food? I mean, I love home-cooked meals. Uh, we're just gonna put home-cooked meals, you don't judge me. <laughs> Pick a book. The Great Gatsby, 1984, and my Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. The Great Gatsby. Uh, okay, I'm not really sure if I'm a fan of this, but I got Meg March and Ravenclaw. You are Meg March, and you'd be sorted into Ravenclaw. You are wise, creative, and have amazing dexterity, like the oldest March sister. You put your heart above your concerns about money, luxury, and beauty. I don't know. Like Ravenclaw, you are willing to follow your mind wherever it leads. Like both Meg and Ravenclaw, you are open-minded and want to make your own way and it doesn't matter to you if it others don't get it. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm actually a Gryffindor and I would honestly rather be Beth, but it's fine. Maybe I'll retake it sometime, but yeah. Alright guys, those are all the bookish quizzes I'll be taking for this video. I had a lot of fun with these and if you're judging me for messing up Harry Potter, that's fine. It's just been a while and I second guess myself a lot. Whatever. It's all good. That's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a nice little thumbs up. If you want to keep following me on this booktube journey, please subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Erica A. Gobble. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!